We live in a world where digital rules. Computers, cell phones, cars, even glasses are becoming digital. But you know what sucks? Digital Zoom. Fuck Digital Zoom. Nearly every digital camera has some amount of zoom. You push a button and the image gets bigger or smaller. So what's wrong with digital zoom? I mean, zoom is zoom, right? No! See, a zoom is a physical process. It requires lenses to move back and forth, adjusting the focal length of the lens as a whole. This adjusts the viewing angle of the camera, which gives us the magnification effect that we love so very much. But digital zoom doesn't move any lenses to achieve magnification. In fact, it doesn't magnify at all. It stretches. See, when you're using digital zoom, you crop the image down to the portion you want to look at, and then stretch it out to fill the space that the image filled before. So, like tinfoil isn't tin and koalas aren't bears, digital zoom isn't. It's like seeing an interesting book on a bookshelf, and instead of reading it to get more details, you just stare at the cover really hard. I understand nothing! So I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, okay, fine. So what? Who cares how it works as long as it does? Well, that's the thing. It really doesn't. Okay, so let's use this book, Japan Eye, A Tall Girl's Adventures in Japan by Amy Steinberger as our target. I'll hold it up and freeze frame the video so the camera doesn't lose focus and so the book doesn't move. Now, let's apply some digital zoom. At this point, all of the sharp details are gone, reduced to a pixelated mess. You get no further clarity in the image than it already had, just bigger pixels. So I showed you digital zoom. Now for optical zoom, we're here at Santa Monica Beach, and I'm gonna show you what a decent, eh, mid to high level consumer digital camcorder can do for optical zoom. The target is that white apartment complex in the background. Using GPS data and an image I took standing in that exact spot, that building is a little over 0.26 miles or about 418 meters away. Even if you're viewing this video at full screen, you'd be hard pressed to make out much detail apart from the major architectural features. As we zoom in, however, more detail emerges to the point where you can easily see this man cleaning his window. So why is there digital zoom at all? Well, as long as you're not too concerned about the quality, digital zoom is the eh, better than nothing option when it comes to the world's most popular kind of camera. Your smartphone. See, smartphone manufacturers have to worry about how fragile their device is. It's no good having a device you can carry around in your pocket all the time if it breaks. So, in order to remove as many points of failure as possible, smartphone designers want to make as few moving parts in their device as possible, which means optical zoom is straight out. Also, optical zoom requires space to move forward and back, so it'd be kind of hard to fit that in in a low-profile device that's supposed to live in your pocket. It's also useful if you know that the size of the screen viewing the image is going to be smaller than the image itself. For example, I shoot all of my stuff in 1080p, but I render it down to 720p. This gives me a little bit of freedom to crop in and show you what I want to show you without any loss of quality, as long as I don't take it too far. So digital zoom isn't really zoom, but it does have its uses. But what do you think? Do you use digital zoom? And if you do, can you even tell the difference between digital and optical zoom? Tell us what you think in the comments. Okay, so first off, Anime Expo this year was awesome. Uh, it was such a pleasure to be able to celebrate the first anniversary of me doing panels at conventions on the stage that started it all. 
and well, my panels got such a good turnout this year it was fantastic uh, especially my workshop so you want to make an audio drama which even though the video of it came out crap and I ended up not even putting it up online the end result of it was awesome and that is online which you would have already seen if you subscribe uh, videos for Anime Expo are down here uh, music for this episode was provided by these fine folks and as always don't forget to subscribe